it's part two! Hey people, I have just reached a very big milestone in writing the second Bran Hembrick novel. I have reached part two of the book. I started writing on the second Bran Hembrick novel while I was finishing up the first one, just because I kind of wanted to get into it, and I'd been plotting on it for a while, and I was wanting to be ahead with it. So this is probably the culmination of, of many, many months of writing, and probably not too many months of like specific writing, but I've been writing on it for a very long time, so it's been a big thing for me. Now it's a little bit different writing on the second book because whenever I wrote the first one I didn't really plot it out too much, but the second one is incredibly plotted out. In fact, I have a hundred and something pages of just plotting typed out just so I know exactly where the story's going and everything that's supposed to happen. So I pretty much wrote the first draft in this plot file over here. Now the way I write is I have two computer monitors. I have one over here where I actually kind of do my writing on. See like chapter 21 I have, you know, the question marks. I don't know what this title, this chapter is going to be called. But I have this one over here where I'm writing on. Then I have a second monitor over here where I have the plot all set up. So I kind of know what's going on, so whenever I'm writing, I can be over here and I can be ch -ch 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 typing away, and then I look over here and I, oh, that's what's going to happen next, and I type over here, and then I look over there, oh, that's what's happening next. So, you know, it makes it easier because I'm kind of keeping up with it as I go along. I mean, it's pretty much like, you know, writers that would write with a notebook over here and then have their plotting on a piece of paper on the side, like a plotting grid, except mine is more computerized in 21st century. The thing about doing it on the computer, though, is that I have this little problem here called Skype, and uh, my friends talk to me while I'm writing, and I'm like, DON'T TALK TO ME, I'M WRITING! Now I know a lot of you probably already know this already, but for those of you who don't know, my job is writing books. That's pretty much what I live off of, that's my job. Just like some people, you know, they work at a grocery store, I work at a restaurant, or I work in computers. I write books! And that's how I make my living. I have a publisher and an agent, and my publisher takes the books that I write, they turn it into a book, they put it in bookstores, and people like you go and buy the books, and I get paid depending on how many books are sold. That's how I make my living. That's how I pay the rent on this apartment, that's how I pay the, uh, my car off and my insurance, and I pay for my food that way. So it's kind of important that I finish this sequel by deadline, so I can, you know, pay for food, and eat. Now the code title for the second book is Bran Hembrick TSK, and the TSK stands for something, kind of like Bran Hembrick The Farfield Curse. Well, it's Bran Hembrick TSK, and I don't know when we're planning to reveal the title of it, but when we do, I will surely post it on YouTube for sure. So it's a lot of fun, you know? I mean, my dream was being a full-time writer, and now I'm living out here doing my full-time writing. If you guys could have any job in the world, either be a writer or a radio show host or a TV host or the, uh, the voice of SpongeBob SquarePants or whatever sort of job you want, what would it be? Tell me in the comments what job you would want most of all as your dream job. Oh, sweet keyboard.